Starting the day with some avocado toast. Ah, oh, not bad. I find it's a lot easier to spread if I cut it really small like this, or I could just leave it. And then I like to sprinkle some lemon juice on top of it. Now to flavor it up, I always use everything bagel seasoning, black garlic, because it... And then my new favorite, two radishes also on its last limbs. Adds a nice crunch to the toast. And then I have some pickled red onions. Always have these on hand. And then typically I would use feta cheese for this, but we're out, so the kids love these borsan cheese. Sometimes I like pairing it with some eggs, but today I don't have time, so we're gonna have it with pineapple. Coffee. I just love the crunch. Mm, it's nice and filling. Got some fiber, some veggies to start the day. I know it's kind of basic, but it's so easy to throw together. Headed to the park and just making them a little bento lunch. English muffin pizza that I stuck, that I snuck shredded zucchinis in. They'll never know. You wanna sit here and watch your lunch being made? He's gonna start eating everything. We found these everything bagel chips from Sprouts and they're so good. You guys want some gummies? Yeah, I bring them. Yeah. I'm bringing my hot delicious bean water. You're gonna bring your hot, delicious bean water? That's supposed to be coffee. So we're having people over for dinner tonight. I'm pre-making the dessert. It's one from my book. It's the strawberry raspberry rhubarb pie, except instead of a pie, I'm gonna make it into a crumble so that we can have it with ice cream. Have you guys ever had rhubarb before? It's like a cross between celery and, I don't know, raspberries, a whole pint into a bowl. I've never had rhubarb raw. It's tart. It's really tart. Oh my gosh. But I can see how that pairs well with like the berries. Apparently it's in the buckwheat family. Fun food fact. Now we sweeten it up. If you have dark brown sugar, definitely use dark. This is all I have. Light works too, but I guess the book called for light. This cornstarch will kind of help hold all the juices together and make it really yummy because the strawberries tend to be pretty watery. Eyeball lemon juice. You just need about a tablespoon. Vanilla extract. Quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm using Himalayan pink salt and a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I'll just and now we mix, mix, mix. Oh, it smells so good. So I'm adding walnuts and I'm just crushing with my hands. our crumble topping and it's ready to be baked. I'm just preheating this oven. This is my new little toy. It's the Breville mini toaster oven, but it does everything from baking, broiling, dehydrating, air frying. We stopped using the other one just because it's so loud. I don't know, it's on its last limb, so I had to get this one. garden haul. These sweet pea tendrils with the sugar snap peas. So I'm going to make these with a Meyer lemon whipped ricotta salad. Carrots, rainbow carrots, some radishes. All right, let's check on our crumble. Ooh, it's looking beautiful. 
Okay, I'm gonna start working. You guys can kind of see what I'm gonna make. I'll show you the final. Basically, we're making my miso udon carbonara. In the book, I'm gonna make a whipped ricotta salad, and then we're making a tri-tip steak. mixing the miso udon for the miso udon carbonara and then putting together a cheese board More and then mommy. okay and then i got to do the salad you can help me don't eat it okay if you want some i'll make you a plate okay you want dipping cheese mm -hmm. okay 20. Ooh, the big one What's the little baby one again? Baby chick is in the egg. Mommy chicken is looking for a baby egg. Good job, sis. I won't make it too spicy, okay? I'll just add a little bit. You don't smell this. Yeah, don't smell this because you'll be ah, 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 a chew. <laughs> ah, 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 a chew. No, 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 no. You want to do it? Let's give it a stir. Let's give it a stir. That's her tagline, let's give it a stir. It's actually better than mix, 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 if you ask me. Simple. Now I gotta hurry and scramble. It's six o'clock. Whipped Meyer lemon ricotta with just like spring veggies. The egg kind of cooked, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> For lunch today, we were gonna go healthy, but then we found this restaurant and we're like, eh. The Bombay Frankie Company, what they're known for are Indian burritos. So I first learned about them when we moved to LA where they were based inside of a Chevron, but it was so good that they've expanded to like multiple locations now. So that's cool. I always love a success story. Nate got a chicken tikka masala and a chicken curry. So I called them to see what the difference was. I mean, they're both like curry, right? But they told me that the chicken tikka masala, can I cut yours? Is, ooh, white meat with the tomato base. The chicken curry is dark meat but also tomato based. So I think the difference here is like white meat versus dark meat. I'm a dark meat person, but they pretty much look the same. I feel like his has more tomato. Um, shorter. Got a different kind of burrito for lunch today. <gasps> oh! Why? Why would you unwrap it like that? Because how else am I gonna eat it? Ollie's like, can I try? Ollie. Mmm, mmm, it's everything I love about Indian food in one. Like the naan is soft and chewy, very flavorful. The chicken is like kind of spicy, but also very flavorful. And there's like the crunch from the cucumber and then the onions in there. This is really good. Mmm, potatoes and peas. This is so yummy. Mm. Yogurty, mango-y, very creamy. Yeah, I would definitely grab some lunch here again. <laughs> it's really good. Really nice haircut. How do you know I'm jumping, Lily? Who broke it?
have to get ready today because I'm doing a live with Laurel of Sweet Laurel, Laurel Gallucci of Sweet Laurel Bakery, and we're making a savory coffee cake. It's their cover photo, and it's so Not one, but two savory coffee cakes. I'm actually prepping the tomatoes right now. We're gonna par roast them first. These are just like cherry tomatoes on the vines, but they're gonna go on top of the coffee cake. We're making this right here on um, the live. This right here. Yum. Here, you can roast some too, okay? You want some too. Is that cherry bobby tomato? Yeah, that's cherry bobby tomato. Drizzle it with some olive oil. Why don't we look Okay. We're gonna roast them. <laughs> What's he saying? I'm all in garbage. Okay, I'll give you one. This smells incredible. It's so like fresh, herby, garlicky. This is the gremolata that's gonna go in between the cake to make it like savory. gonna continue roasting. Definitely next time, roast it off the vine. <laughs> The idea of a savory coffee cake really caught my attention just because yes. coffee cakes are usually, you know, like sweet, cinnamony, apple. Yes. Yeah. Randomly placed. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me show you guys the tasting because we didn't get to taste it on there, but I made two. This is just the life of like live stuff. You always have to have swap outs unless it's like something that is doesn't require baking or cooking. This is gonna be our dinner. I'm gonna serve it with, I was thinking of doing like shake and bake chicken. Have you guys ever heard of shake and bake? But it's basically just like crusted chicken I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make them into like smaller size so they're like basically nuggets. We'll have them with this and some roasted veggies. That was really fun though. I love doing lives and just like cooking with people. I love how the inside has the markings from the herbs. I would not even be able to tell this was made with almond flour. It's so like moist and Delicious. This would go so well with like a cheese spread too. Ooh. I didn't cook dinner today. Meet me dinner and yeah. good. The air fryer is an amazing invention. It's crispy, crunchy on the outside. I used the leftover almond, well Nate used the leftover almond flour from this cake right here. No, no. Roll it, stop. No, that's this is. Stop. He's a blackberry hoarder. That's blackberry. Mmm. Mm. So I'm testing a recipe on how I can do this in a bake, but I use that Trader Joe's sweet corn burrata basil ravioli. Chicken, zucchini, kale, cherry tomatoes, and that corn burrata 
ravioli that I showed you from the Trader Joe's haul. Trying to squeeze some vegetables in our diet wherever we can. And also a side of, we'll call it steamed broccoli with a drizzle of <laughs> Meyer lemon juice and olive oil. Oh, another thing that I put in the sauce, I just used jarred marinara, but what I also added to use up was that whipped lemon, Meyer lemon ricotta. Hopefully it tastes good. I'm capping off the night and the video with this turmeric shot. I'm actually kind of puffy right here. I have like an allergic reaction to something, so I figured this turmeric would help with the inflammation. Kind of spicy with black pepper and cayenne. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my what I eat in a week. Some of it was healthy, some of it was, but overall it was really good. And if you guys wanna know any of the recipes, let me know in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram. I'll probably post it over there. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Look at daddy, where's daddy? Say bye. Bye daddy.